Shalom. Before I begin this video, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Rahawa Kakwadash. A double honor is to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that still to this very day continually rule very well, and that's continually fleeing the flock through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. And Shalom to the whole elect that is also doing the same things in this work. That's all spreading this ministry and this gospel to the other members of the whole elect and faith, truth, sincerity, and all diligence and in all charity. Now, uh, topic of this video is uh, going to be entitled The Fishers Regenerated. All right, in which uh, <clears throat> if the Spirit allows, I might title it title of this video and uh, they might give it another a title but you know the main point of this video is to uh, <clears throat> basically bring out more edification concerning um, the topic of fishing and that's not talking about you know your, your modern day term of fishing but <clears throat> the fishers of the Lord are fishers of men in which um uh, That's what our Lord told uh, Peter back in the ancient world when Yahweh Shah was in the flesh. He told Peter that he was going to make him fishers of men. All right. In which uh, that pertains unto the gospel. In which this gospel, by the way, contrary to popular belief, this gospel is meant only for the nation of Israel. So, which uh, consists of the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's what this gospel is for. Because the gospel means the good news. And the good news is that our people are going to be set back in righteousness. And they're going to be uh, delivered out of the captivity that we're in right now. Which is the captivity of the so-called white man. In which is true biblical nationality is Edom. That's the good news, all right? Now, when it comes to being fishers of men, you had that back in the ancient world with the apostles, which before they were known as apostles, they were known as the disciples of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, who these people ignorantly called Jesus, in which the apostles, they were fishers of men, all right? They went out and um, to do the work, which is... What you see the men of the Lord doing right now You're seeing the men of the Lord out Doing the same things You know out on the highways and byways To bring back The lost sheep of the house of Israel Like our Lord commanded us to do And those same fishers That are back then That are doing the work that back today Because you know the people They are looked at as our regeneration And which in modern day terms it's known as reincarnation which the word reincarnation just means back in the flesh all right see the people look at that as, uh, as something that's far-fetched and not possible but the thing is that the lord has always dealt with regeneration he's dealt with reincarnation multiple times even our lord yahweh shai was re reincarnated all right but that'll be another topic for another video because uh, like it says in the book of Ecclesiastes, it says that there is uh, no new thing under the sun. And that's true. There is no new thing under the sun. You have the same uh, people that are back then during the ancient world that back today to play their roles <clears throat> because the prophets have always had their lot of being prophets. All right. That lot has never been taken away from them. All right. Now you have individuals that were uh, back then during the, during the time of the ministry of uh, when Yahweh Shai was in the flesh. You had uh, people that were not a part of the ministry, or, or should say, or I should say that they were there for a little while and then they left. You had spies that were a part of, uh, that pretty much were, were amongst the brotherhood, and you had the same thing today. All right. You got the ones that, that betrayed Yahweh Shai, the ones that were against Yahweh Shai. And they're back today. That same generation's back today. The Romans, who were the Edomites back then, 
you know, the Roman soldiers and, the, and especially the one that pierced our Lord Yahweh Shah on the side. Guess what? Those same individuals are back today. OK. Now, uh, going back to the topic at hand, you know, concerning the fishers that are regenerated. That's what you're seeing right now. Now you're you're seeing those same fishers, those men, the men of the Lord out doing the same thing, being fishers of men. All right. Because see, right now, when when the time of fishing. All right. This is the this is the fishing season to where the doors of mercy are open right now to the elect. And it's only a matter of time before the door is completely closed. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and jump into the scriptures. Uh, it's the book of uh, Matthew, the 19th chapter and the 28th verse. It says, And Yehoshua said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, right? Once Yahweh Shai is, is right now, Yahweh Shai is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he's going to come back to assert his kingdom and rulership on the planet Earth. All right? And we're coming to those times now, and we're getting very close to the end of this man's system. And by when I say this man, I mean Esau or Edom, which is the so called white man. All right? Now it says, uh, Ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Okay. Now you have the individuals that that have followed Yahweh Shai in the regeneration, and they're back today. Those same individuals that followed Yahweh Shai back when he was in the flesh, they're back today. All right. Why is that, man? Because the ones that have accepted Yahweh Shai back then, they're back today. All right. They never lost their um, their lot in this this event. Or should I say this uh, this movie, which is the Lord's movie, and which is you seeing it playing out right before your very eyes. Now, mind you, the word uh, God goes back to the Greek word theos, which means which uh, that word also goes uh, back to theater. That's where you get the word theater from. All right. Now, concerning regeneration, it means back back in in your gene. All right, or back in the gene, back in your family. In which Israel will always be Israel, all right? You know that that pretty much uh, dispels that uh, that notion or that thought. You know, saying that well, you know, maybe I'm not an Israelite. You know, maybe I'm an Edomite or an Elamite. Well, the thing is that we try the spirits, all right? If you were born an Israelite back then, you're gonna come back as an Israelite today, because that same spirit is gonna be within you, all right? Because your line goes back through your father. Okay. Now it's the book of Titus, the third chapter In the fifth verse Got it right here in front of me It says uh, Actually, uh, let me go into the scripture I think it started at verse 4 Now it says um, Verse 4, it says But after that, the kindness and love of, of The Most High, Yahweh Our Savior, which is Yahweh Shai Toward men appeared Not by works of righteousness Which we have done but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit. So it wasn't according to work because when we, when we were born in this world, you know, we were born with a, a Gentile state of mind. You know, us that, that are just now coming, in, us that have came into this truth, you know, we all have the same story. You know, we were all born, you know, we when we weren't born knowing that we were Israelites. All right, we were born. You know, thinking that we were so-called Negroes, so-called uh, Mexicans, so-called Jamaicans, so-called uh, Haitians, so-called Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, Seminole Indians, Native American Indians. We all were born thinking that that's where we were, that came into this truth. But now we know where our line goes back to. All right. So it wasn't by our works that we received uh, the mercy of Yahweh Shai because even receiving the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of, of Yahweh Bashem Shai and growing in this truth lets you know that you know you're you're basically you're in the clear but the thing is is that we have to endure to the very end and that's the uh, that's the stipulation for lack of a better term or that's the conditions that we have to be faced with concerning this truth that we have to endure all the way into the very end when our Lord returns. 
so they can receive that we can receive mercy. But the ones that are to receive mercy of, of Yahweh Bashim Yashai have already uh, they're already back here today to fulfill prophecy because the prophecy of the elect, the 144,000, is to be fulfilled. All right. So once again, it says, not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration. All right. In which we are to come back in the same lot. Right. And renewing of the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit is renewed or was renewed when we came back into the truth. All right. And once the Holy Spirit was renewed. Then that's when we were going to get the understanding because. Back then, during that time, we didn't understand everything. All right. That's why Yahweh told his disciples. He said that. Um, actually, let me, let me see if I can go find it. He said that um, many righteous men desire to see the things that we see. So I can't type. Get straight to the point is Matthew's the 13th chapter in the 17th verse says for verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see the things which ye see and have not seen them and to hear those things which ye hear and have not heard them all right because the righteous men back then during the ancient world they were seeing all these visions receiving dreams but they didn't understand what they were seeing what they were writing all right but guess what now Today, we're we're uh, now that we are going back into righteousness. Now we're able to receive the understanding. All right. And that's what you're witnessing. Now, the, now the understanding is being unlocked right before your very eyes. And the men of the Lord that you see right now doing the work, we're bringing out that understanding to the other members of the whole elect. All right. Lucky, lost my place. Um, now I want to go back. Um, as we're gonna grab another precept, I think I may close it out at this. Uh, Lord's will, if other precepts don't pop in my head, it's uh, Jeremiah 16 chapter and the uh, 16 verse, and I ended off on this. Now, like I mentioned before, we're in the time of fishing season, right? In which the fishers have been regenerated. And that is what you're seeing right before your very eyes that the the fishers are doing their job right now, man. All right. Now, mind you, fishing season only lasts for so long. You know, even in today's world. All right. You got uh, fishers that go out and fish for a little while. And then once the seasons change, then that's when uh, another season comes in. Now, the other season that's going to come in is... Um, hunting season now this is the book of jeremiah the 16th chapter and the 16th verse it says behold i was sent for many fishers save the lord yahweh bashim shai and they shall fish them and after will i send for many hunters and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks and this is directed towards the so-called white man because when the hunters are out because the fishers are going to become the hunters in that day all right so the same men that you see fishing right they're going to become the hunters and they're going to hunt Esau, eat them from out of the holes of the rocks, from all the mountains and all the hills. All right. And take them right into slavery. OK. Because slavery is set in store for the so-called white man. You know, they'll put it off like it's not going to happen. But the thing is that the Lord is not mocked. Like, you know, like it says in the book of Galatians, it says, uh, for whatsoever a man soweth. That shall he also reap. So the Lord is already taking into account of the things that the so-called white man has done. And Esau, the so-called white man, is going to be held accountable for what he has done. All right, he's not going to escape judgment. All right. 
But that pretty much ends it off on this video and this lesson. And our Lord's will, you members of the Hopeful Elect, were edified by this video. And until next time, once again, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'a Shemi Ha'ushai, Rahawah Kakwadash. And our double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that continually rule very well to this very day. And our Shalom, peace and safety, and salutations to the Hopeful Elect that is uh, still plowing in his work as well. Giving diligence to make your calling and election sure. In faith, also in truth, and also in sincerity. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom.